Okay. Show me. Hi there! Thank you very much for watching. Welcome back to the Data Sheet channel. And I have an interesting new product to show you. As you can see, it is a quadcopter. And what makes this quadcopter interesting? Well, it's the uh, first Hyperion product I uh, get my hands on. Um, if you, by the way, have any experience with uh, this quadcopter or any other Hyperion uh, product, I'd be interested to know. So uh, hit me up a comment uh, down below in the comment section, if you would. Uh, thank you in advance. Now, there are a few other things about this quadcopter that makes it uh, interesting. Um, I'll go over them uh, quickly and uh, in the rest of this video I'll go over them in more detail. Now the first thing that interested me at least is that uh, it comes pre-built. So there's no real assembly required. Um, you do need to add your own receiver and your own flight battery and you have to uh, mount the propellers. Yeah. Uh, that's not uh, very difficult, of course. And that's it. Uh, after that, uh, you do need to do some setup work in uh, clean flight, but it should be good to go after that. So uh, that's that's very nice, of course. Um, it looks nice. Uh, the the color scheme is nice. The orange on the the top plate, and uh, that's co color coordinated with the propellers. Very nice. Um, the Motors are actually mounted at an angle. They are angled forwards. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that well enough, but take my word for it. And I'll, like I said, I'll go over it in more detail uh, in a minute. But uh, all motors are pitched forward um, eight degrees. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it uh, comes with an integrated. Uh, flight controller, PCB and on-screen display board. Uh, however, the integrated board does not have the ESCs integrated in, in it, which is a good thing, I think. So uh, if one of your ESCs fails, uh, you can uh, replace that ESC without having to replace the entire board. Very good. Um, at the front here you might have noticed that the FPV camera mount is a bit different than on most quadcopters. And it is, it has a one axis gimbal on it. Uh, the gimbal can be set up in uh, a few different ways, I think uh, three different modes really. And um, so you do not have to use it, you can for instance only use it to stabilize small movements or you can have it set up so that it will uh, always point horizontally whichever uh, floats your boat so to speak um, and the entire camera gimbal setup is mounted on this plate here which is vibration dampened so your FV camera is uh, vibration dampened as well and this plate uh, also uh, is the mounting platform for uh, your uh, HD camera, uh, would you want to use that? Um, one other thing that's interesting about this quadcopter is that the uh, video transmitter, yes it comes with a video transmitter, um, it, uh, out of the factory it comes as a 25 milliwatt, I think, 25 milliwatt. Uh, video transmitter, which is done because uh, in a, a lot of countries that's the maximum allowed. However, you can change it to be a 200 milliwatt video transmitter. Um, let's see what's a unique selling point as well. Yeah, it has a few uh, different ways of uh, attaching or connecting your receiver. Um, uh, you can uh, connect your receiver with just one wire. Uh, if you are flying quadcopters, you know uh, what I mean. But not only uh, in SBUS or other protocols, but uh, it has 
a port to just uh, attach it uh, conventionally with one wire. Also, uh, it has an SBUS port over here and it has a um, Spectrum uh, satellite port. So, very, very nice. Uh, let's see, yeah, it comes with lights, LEDs. Let me quickly attach a LiPo so I can show you the LEDs. There. Um, I think you'll be able to shut up. <laughs> I think you'll be able to see that uh, the, there are LEDs at the bottom of the legs or the motor pods. Uh, red in the front, green in the back. Yeah. Um, from what I've read, uh, the, uh, there are people that uh, prefer red lights at the rear. I do. Some people uh, don't care or prefer red at the front. Uh, you can change them out. So you can uh, put the red LEDs at the rear and the green at the front if you would want to have that look. Um, it has. Uh, that's that's a bit difficult to show you actually, but uh, at the rear it has white LEDs, and uh, apart from that, uh, it also has some uh, status LEDs over here, which uh, show you info on your flight mode, of uh, for instance, and uh, if it's armed. There now I've armed it, armed the quadcopter, and now it's disarmed again. So uh, okay, that's that's the LEDs. Okay, and at the rear you have an XC60 connector and a mount for your video uh, antenna. Uh, the antenna comes with the quadcopter. Uh, speaking of that, let me first uh, show you what comes with the quadcopter. Um, everything you see here comes with the quadcopter minus a receiver. I already have a receiver mounted in between the top and bottom plate. Uh, that doesn't come with the quadcopter. Uh, the propellers do come with the quadcopter. Um, everything you see here, the, so the, the FEV system, camera, transmitter, um, even the, 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 I think it's a uh, right hand circular polarized antenna. Okay, let's put the quadcopter aside for a second. Actually, it's uh, worthwhile uh, showing you the box the quadcopter came in. There, there's the box, and it comes with a carrying handle, very handy. And on the inside, You've got some uh, foam padding. Uh, the quadcopter slots in there very securely. So this is definitely a box you can use to uh, transport slash store your quadcopter. You do need to uh, take off the propellers by the way. Um, the quadcopter does not come with a uh, manual. It only comes with this uh, leaflet and uh, there uh, the leaflet uh, mentions a uh, an address, web address for the PDF. Um, the online manual is very good, well illustr illustrated, good English, very nice. And this is of course better for the environment to not have a full manual with the product. Alright, that's the box. Apart from that, it comes with this breakout cable, this here. Um, I have not used it as you saw, but uh, well, this is basically a cable which you will use if you do not want to have a single wire uh, setup. <coughs> and it actually has uh, a benefit uh, if you want to be able to adjust the camera angle in flight. Um, with the setup I have chosen, a one wire setup, uh, I cannot change the camera angle in flight. Okay, it comes with uh, a few pieces of uh, Velcro to, uh, for instance, uh, mount your receiver. And it comes with a Velcro strap 
to uh, mount your uh, battery for instance or uh, maybe your camera that's very nice and it's actually Hyperion branded very good and that is ah uh, yeah it came with the uh, Hyperion sticker yes very nice okay let us then go over the quadcopter itself in more detail Okay, let's start at the, the rear of the quadcopter. Like I mentioned before, it has a separate uh, video transmitter that is already mounted in the quadcopter. It is uh, either a 25 milliwatt or 200 milliwatt 32 channel, I think, uh, video transmitter, which comes with this aerial a cloverleaf antenna uh, um, if uh, someone from Hi Hyperion watches this video it would be very nice to have this antenna also co color coordinated with the rest of the quadcopter not very important of course but it'll look better yes sir um, let's see uh, like I mentioned before it has an integrated board which uh, takes up quite a bit of space on uh, this quadcopter um, so it, in the sense that it is quite large and why is that well it is a uh, integrated board with a nace 32 revision 6 i think uh, flight controller but it also has uh, the uh, power distribution board integrated into this board and an osd an on-screen display or a head-up display if you prefer um, so, well, in, in some cases uh, it's a, a bad thing to have everything integrated into one board. But like I mentioned before, at least the ESCs aren't integrated into the board. So if, uh, well, that's something that'll eventually happen if you fly a lot, of course, and crash uh, now and again. Uh, one of your ESCs might fail and uh, yes, you can then replace those ESCs. Um, the ESCs are mounted in the arms, by the way, uh, which makes for a pleasantly clean setup, I think. Okay, um, let's see, yeah, uh, brushless motors, of course, and uh, they are Hyperion branded. Um, what's the KV? They are 2300 KV motors. Um, yeah, let's see, uh, the, 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 at the front here you've got, like I mentioned, that gimbal with FPV camera set up. Now it can be set up in three modes really. Um, I have it set up in race mode and let me demonstrate that quickly. If I power on the quadcopter. And wait five seconds approximately. Um, you will notice that uh, my FPV camera is now pointing downwards. However, I can adjust it with my hand. So now it's pointing slightly upwards. Uh, this is probably the mode I will use mostly. But I can also push it up at a very aggressive angle. Uh, might be a little too aggressive actually, but uh, well. Uh, and if you would want, you can fly it facing downwards. Mm. Okay, so that's one, one of the modes, that's a race mode. And in this race mode, uh, might be hard to show you, but it will dampen small oscillations in, in the quadcopter. So that makes for a slightly more uh, or less uh, tiring or well it, it'll make your FPV feed look a little uh, easier to follow. Um, okay so that's one of the modes. It has a mode in which it will always keep the FPV camera horizontally. Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't think I will be using that mode. Um, it might be handy for beginners actually if you start out 
you uh, flying FPV? Might be. I'm not sure. Okay, and then the third mode. Well, it's not really a mode, but uh, if you connect up a, a traditional receiver, so um, uh, one wire for each channel towards the board, uh, you can then uh, set it up to um, um, have the camera or, or, or the gimbal really uh, be controlled from your uh, transmitter. So you can uh, choose whichever angle you'd like. So that's the third mode of that. All right, enough of that. Okay, and one of the biggest unique selling points I think of this quadcopter is, like I mentioned before, the, the motor mount angle. Each of the motors is angled or pitched forward 8 degrees. Now, why would you want that and is that a, a benefit to, for, uh, for everybody? Um, obviously, if you fly a quadcopter and you want to have it move forwards, you will have to pitch it forwards like this, yes? Um, however, if uh, you, uh, your uh, pitch is uh, very aggressive like this, the entire body of your quadcopter will create more drag than when it's horizontally, um, uh, horiz flying horizontally like this. And to solve that uh, partly, uh, they've uh, angled the motors themselves. Um, you could argue that uh, an even more aggressive angle, so more than 8 degrees, would uh, be even better. However, that would make it very hard to land. Um, you will notice in my flight video that the quadcopter uh, in hover so when it's hanging in the air horizontally like this, it'll always fly forwards. Which is uh, understandable of course, because the motors are facing slightly forwards. Um, yeah, that, that makes it a little harder to, to uh, land, I think. Takeoff won't be a problem, you just uh, punch out uh, so that you instantly get out of the ground effect. Uh, landings might be a bit uh, harder to do, um, so just uh, land it in gra grass and you won't have any problems. Uh, that also means it's, this quadcopter is a little less appropriate for absolute beginners, I think. Actually, let me know what you think about that. In my eyes, it uh, makes it a, a little more of an uh, advanced quadcopter. I wouldn't call this... Um, really a hardcore racer, um, just because the size is a little bigger, it's a 280 size quadcopter. Um, nevertheless, uh, not an absolute beginner quadcopter in my eyes. Okay, let's turn her over for a minute. Yeah, as you can see, I already have my battery strap attached to it. Um, I will be mounting my battery at the bottom, obviously, uh, but if you prefer, you can mount your battery on the top. As you can see, there's more than enough room for your flight battery at the top. Um, I will probably be mounting a uh, HD camera, a Runcam uh, 2, on the top. So to balance the quadcopter out, I'll be putting my flight battery at the bottom. There is uh, enough room under the quadcopter so that you won't be landing on your flight battery. This is uh, a, a 4S flight pack and it'll clear the stance as well. So that should be all good. Now. Um, I would have liked to include a little uh, flight demo in this video, uh, however the weather over here is uh, horrible at, uh, at best. So that will have to wait a few days. Uh, nevertheless, I'll hope to, uh, I hope to be able to show you some flight demo of this quadcopter in the near future. Um, I'll 
obviously also show you some in-flight footage uh, from the FPV feeds to show you the OSD. Now if you have uh, any questions or uh, suggestions about the quadcopter or maybe things you'd like to have me uh, demonstrate, um, I'll be happy to uh, answer any question of course and uh, well this might also be a perfect time for you to subscribe so you won't miss out on my flight demos with the quadcopter and hope to see you back in another video bye bye